Hey guys and welcome back to the CTFC Perspective and in today's video we're going to be doing a Cheltenham News video. Within this Cheltenham News is going to be a bit about pre-season and all the latest updates from the club and how the players have gotten on as well as a transfer roundup. Now this transfer roundup will include all of Cheltenham Town's latest transfer business. Obviously I was a bit late to two of these signings but I thought I might wait and put them into one singular package so it's easy for you guys. These two signings being Finn, Azaz and Lewis freestone and obviously the latest transfer news being only from a few hours ago from making this video liam circum the club has been really busy the last couple of days, obviously trying to get players to fill them slots of the players we sadly had to let go. And obviously with football being returned in less than a month from now, all the players need to be ready, need to be trained, need to be into the regime so we can go back into the league and finally get to where we want, which is League One. Just before we do get into this video, would you mind just subscribing to the channel whilst hitting that notification bell and smashing that like button because it would mean the world to me. The more people that do it, the more expansion to new viewers that these videos get and the more this channel can grow as a fan base, as a family together. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm going to start off with the transfer roundup as it is probably what most of you are here for and I'm going to start off the transfer roundup section with Liam Sercom as it is the latest piece of news therefore more relevant to this video. So around two hours ago Charlton Town did post to their Twitter their little reveal video with Little Jet and Co. As you can see here, they do these little teaser videos just a few uh, minutes, maybe about a quarter of an hour, half an hour before the actual player is revealed to keep us a little bit eager, us interested and intrigued about who the club will be signing. Then, not that long after, like I said, two hours ago from me recording this video, as you can see on the screen, the Charlton Town Twitter page posted news. We are delighted to announce the signing of Liam Circum in association with our official signing partners, Little Jet and Co. And then the link to the website, which I will be reading shortly. Okay, so I'll check on screen the statement from the club, but I'll just skim through the actual important bits so you don't have to read the less important things yourself. So, Experienced midfielder Liam Sercom has today con been confirmed as Cheltenham Town's latest signing ahead of the 2021 season. The 30-year-old moves to the Johnny Rock Stadium on a one-year contract, so it's only a one-year deal, after departing League One side Bristol Rovers in June. A three-time promotion winner included twice out of League Two, which is what Cheltenham Town want to do. Come on. Bristol-born Sercom has already amassed close to 500 career appearances and has been a key player for all three clubs he has represented throughout his career. He broke through the youth ranks at Exeter City as a teenager where he got two promotions going into the Football League and then League One 12 months later. After 260 appearances at St James's Park he went to Oxford United. After two seasons at Oxford he came home to Bristol to sign for Bristol Rovers in the summer of 2017 for an undisclosed six-figure fee. And then his Bristol Rovers career coming to an end after a three-campaign period where he made 125 appearances. Now, onto the bit that we want to hear. So, commenting on his arrival, he said, I'm very happy to get it done before pre-season. You want to get off to a good start with the boys, which is a big positive. We want to go for a promotion push this season. It's a club that can go for the League One, and that's what I'm aiming for. When I came and met the manager, that's all he wants as well. So, some pretty good and positive news from Liam Sercom there. And here are a few more stats of his career, just to get a little drift of what his career has been like so far. His last season, as you can see in League 2, he made 22 appearances, getting himself one goal and four assists with two yellow cards from central midfield. 
Now, I'm just going to show you this. The 30-year-old has this career in the league. So in League One, he played 236 games, getting 27 goals and 22 assists, that making it 690 minutes per goal involvement. Whereas in League Two, where obviously he'll be playing with Cheltenham, he has a better um, goal contribution to minutes ratio of 550 with 26 goals and 18 assists. I hope that information was helpful. Now we move on to the next transfer, which was actually the first one which I missed, Finn Azaz. So obviously first, I'm gonna show you the tweet from the club, as you can see here. News, in association with our official signing partners, Little Jet Co, we are very pleased to announce the loan signing of Finn Azaz from West Bromwich Albion. More here, I'm gonna skim for it for you, just like with Liam Serkham. So, Azaz is a 19-year-old goal-scoring midfielder who has progressed through the ranks of the Hawthorns after originally joining the Baggies as a 9-year-old. He has been a key part of the Baggies Premier League 2 side and featured for them in a behind-closed-doors friendly against Cheltenham at the Johnny Rock Stadium in late January. And finally, commenting on his move to the Robins, Azaz said, It's been... In the works for a while. It's something that definitely feels right for me at the moment. I've been keeping myself fit while I've been off during the COVID lockdown. So I'm raring to go and I'm ready for the challenge. Once again, some more positive news from the player. Only just exciting the fans even more for the next season that the players are just raring to go. And the third of the three player signings for today's video, we have Lewis Freestone. Just like with the other two, Cheltenham Town also tweeted for Lewis Freestone as follows. News, we are very happy to announce the signing of defender Lewis Freestone in association with our official partners Little Jet & Co. More here and here we go. The 20-year-old moves to the Johnny Rock Stadium having been part of the under-23 setup at Premier League club Brighton & Hove Albion last season. Despite still being very early on in his playing career, Kings Lynn born Freestone already has League One experience on his CV, having come through the youth system at Peterborough United. And on signing for Cheltenham, Freestone said, I'm buzzing. With COVID coming around, I've been back home for four or five months. It's frustrating, so to hear some good news and to come play for Cheltenham, I'm happy. I want to come in and help the team push for promotion that they deserve. It's a great training facility. The pitches are lovely. The staff are lovely. So it's a great place to come. Great news on top of great news in today's video. And the last, I guess you could say, signing for this video is, as you can see here, Tim Bell has today been appointed as the club's new head of coaching. So for any of you fans really interested in the club, we actually do have a new head coach. And with all the transfer business out the way, we now move on to the little bit of information about pre-season training. So as you can see from the tweet about to be thrown on screen, the players returned for a day of fitness testing at the training ground on Saturday in small groups. So that is how it started in the return from COVID. And then just 23 hours ago, as we're going to transition on to now, it was a day two of pre-season training at the training ground today. The ballers are out as the players continued to work in small groups. So it seems that the players are only eligible to train in small groups as we do have to stick with the government's regulations of health and safety and of course COVID-19. But it's great to see that the players are all together, staying fit, doing the correct things, the stuff that the manager wants and obviously to make sure there are no injuries at the start of the season, even if it is in small groups. But over time, these groups can large into normal training sessions. And just 21 hours ago from me creating this video, Charlton Town posted this. Now this is absolutely great to see, to see that the players are giving their all in training and just to see that they're putting as much effort in now as we want to see them doing on the pitch so we can get glory and hopefully get what we want at the end of the season. Like we've said, we are going for that legal one promotion. If we still keep making the right moves that we have in this window, mate, we are going for a promotion push and you know it. So like I've said, it's great to see the players putting effort in, but it's not just the players going to be putting effort in. 
then I am too. I'm going to be sticking to this weekly schedule so I can give you my Cheltenham Town news videos every week. But if there are multiple signings, so I'm going to stick it to three a video maximum or there are just some important news about tickets or fans or just rules from the actual FA in general, I'm going to be bring it to you guys as soon as possible. So uh, we're gonna be sticking to, like I said, one video a week of Cheltenham news, but if there is anything drastic, I will bring it sooner. I believe that's pretty fair because I, I honestly cannot stick to one video a day or one video every two days because I honestly do not have enough content because I'm bringing you every single bit of Cheltenham news I can possibly find. Obviously, there isn't any Cheltenham related football on because we're not allowed and I can't vlog games. So I'm doing my utmost best to keep you guys entertained and Tyler is too. Tyler is working hard as well. And that's about it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, like I said earlier on the video, if you wouldn't mind taking your time to subscribe to the channel and like this video, it would mean the world to us. To our links will be down in the description, our Instagrams, our Twitters, any links to the news I've used in this video so you guys can check out yourself. And if you want to just drop us a follow or send us any messages rather than leaving any information in the comments, it's up to you guys. Drop a comment if you have any questions or any reactions to the news I've brought to you today. There's going to be two videos like this on screen very shortly and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.